Election day, 10 News has everything you need to know before you head to the polls. Polls open in just a few hours, depending on your county, and poll workers are preparing for a long day to make sure the entire process goes smoothly. As you head to the polls this morning, volunteers will be there to guide you through the process. Poll workers are often the unsung heroes of Election Day. We talked to a Knox County precinct officer who said Election Day is like their version of Christmas, even if it means they work an extra long day to make sure everything is correct. We work really hard. It is a labor of love. It's a really long day. People get tired waiting in line, so there's some people that get impatient. But for the most part, people are so friendly and helpful and say thank you so much, which is really appreciated. And a reminder before you head out, do not forget to bring your ID. <laughs> You'll also need to leave any political attire like hats or T-shirts outside of the polling place. Polls, uh, polls close at 8, but if you are in line by then, stay in line because you still will be able to vote. Some counties open at 7 a.m., others 8 or even 9 a.m., so double check your location's opening hours through the Secretary of State's website. All po polls will close tonight at 8 p.m. And for voters living in Knoxville, you'll notice a city charter amendment listed on the ballot. The amendment could change how you vote for city council members in the future. A vote for the amendment would mean all nine council members would be elected at large, meaning the entire city can elect council members. A vote against the amendment would allow voters living in certain districts to vote specifically for their district. Three council seats would remain at large. Tonight 10 News will bring you live election results and updates on both local and national races. You can watch that starting at 8 tonight, streaming on WBIR+. Plus. It's free to download on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. Then join us on 10 News today, tomorrow morning after the election. We'll break down all the latest election results. Plus, we'll have live analysis of those results.